Hi, everybody. It's Sandra. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing great. As always, shipping in the U.S. is $5. No matter how many pieces you buy, international shipping is more. We only accept PayPal, and you need to reach out to me at my email address, which is I am the funky pickle at gmail.com. All right? I think that's about it. Let me know what pieces you like, and shoot me an email, and we'll get started right now. Thanks again for coming. Let's start with this cute little guy. So this, I believe, is leather. This is all hand done. This is hard to date, but I would think that this is an antique, certainly, that somebody probably made at their kitchen table or something. Maybe a farmer's wife. Don't know. This eye is glass, which is kind of a clue to its age. This is some sort of real fur. He's in nice condition. I think it's so unusual. I would guess that you would never find another critter pin like this. I think it's really neat. It probably took somebody a couple of hours to make this many, many decades ago. And this one is $30. Really a cute and unusual item. How about this beautiful thing? I got this one recently. This was part of a recent haul. There is a little bit of enameling missing. Uh, that doesn't bother me, but if it bothers you, of course, don't get it. Beautiful marcasites, and I think this is an antique. It just looks that way by the construction. It is marked 800 silver right there, and I've never seen that sign. It kind of looks like a stylized H and then a C or an O or something. I really can't make it out, unfortunately. I did try to do some research on it, and I don't know. So just buy it because it's beautiful if you want it, not because of who the designer is, because who the heck knows? It's in very nice condition other than these couple of little handling marks right here. This one is $50. That's a beautiful antique piece. How about this little critter? Isn't he cute? I love this. I guess this is a salamander. I can't see what is marked here either. And this time it's not my eyes. It's because this cartouche wasn't like sharply imprinted, if if you know what I mean. I, it looks like it might say S-T-U or something or S-T-O. I'm really just not sure. It is sterling. It is clearly marked sterling. And he really looks like he's on the move. Really a, a, a cute critter. Let's um weigh it so you can see what I mean. It's a nice, thick, heavy piece. Just about 13 grams or so. Yeah, that's a cute one. Very unusual. This is a showstopper. Look at this gorgeous dragonfly. These are real amethyst. That is a blue topaz. And this is 14 karat gold. It's not plated or anything. It's solid gold. I am not going to be able to read that mark right now, so I will just put that on the screen. But I really love the wings on this one. I love everything about this, actually. I think it's just the sweetest thing. And, you know, the holidays are coming. This would make a very, very pretty gift for somebody. Let me get my, my scale back out, and we'll check out the weight. Our 14-karat gold dragonfly is about 3.5 grams. It's really beautiful. Here is an unusual sterling silver bracelet. This is nice and heavy too. Look at the thickness of it. It measures just under eight inches. We'll take a look at the mark. There it is. So let's weigh it so we can see. Nice, heavy, heavy piece. Yeah, all right, just about 23 grams on this one. It's $60. Really cute. I love these sun faces. That's an awesome item. Here's a beautiful pendant. I've actually been enjoying wearing this on a, a torque. And, oh, by the way, that's not a crack. That's just the way that this, I guess that's turquoise, right? That's just a little sort of striation in that. The inlay work is really pretty. This one is marked 925 ATI Thailand on the inside of that bale. This has some ni nice weight on it also. 
almost 21 grams. And this very beautiful pendant is $35. I love this item. This is a tussy mussy. If you don't know what a tussy mussy is, I'm going to tell you. This is a brooch, obviously. And you wear it like this, and you can put a flower in there. You could even put a little bit of water in there so it would really last a long time. Or a bunch of little flowers. Wouldn't that be cute with violets or forget-me-nots? This is sterling silver. I think that mark is uh, for a company called Rio. I think that's R-E-O with a copyright symbol. It's either that or it's R-E-O-C, which I don't know. I'm not really sure. But let's weigh this because this isn't very light either. About five grams or so of sterling silver. Very unusual item. Here's a Tussie Mussie with the flowers in it. This one is costume. This is really sweet. Wouldn't this look nice on a, I don't know, a, a suit jacket or a jean jacket or a little black dress? I think this is very unusual. Some fake flowers, obviously. Anyway, this one is $12. I got this pretty brooch at an estate sale and this woman was like 95 years old or something and her daughter told me she never wore anything so that's why if this looks brand new it it likely was not worn i love napier stuff you can see how beautiful it is this is not super vintage or anything like that let's just make sure this works and it's not loose or anything nope it is it is good isn't that pretty very elegant very sort of shiny and a classic look this one is $15. Really pretty newer Napier brooch. This is a really fun little item. Costume, not signed. This one is $10 if anybody wants it. No missing stones. Just a little cutie. Amber is just so red hot right now. I think Amber is so interesting. I love it. I actually love these earrings. These are so much fun. They're sterling silver. I guess I have a lot of critters today, don't I? So cute. There's the mark, 925. Really nice. I like that these have nice movement too. Very fun sterling silver and amber earrings. These are $25. Let's take a look at a couple of bracelets. Whoa, how about this? I think this is antique. I was shocked to find that this is not real silver. I think it is silver plated, however. And it's it's pretty amazing. Come on, this is a great one. Uh, yeah, there's the, that's kind of how you can tell it's plated. It's got some little, some little loss, just, just a bit though. I'm going to actually get my uh, kind of hand so that you can see this on a wrist because it's really stunning. Isn't that a pretty thing? Look at the detailing on it. This measures about seven and a half inches or so. Bigger than seven, you know, it's kind of approximate. Uh, like I said, I do think this was, this one is an antique. So this is such a sweet little thing. Isn't this nice? And it's in really nice condition. There's just a little something something on the enameling right there, uh, but or, or paint rather. This is all hand painted. Really sweet little rosettes. I love this. I was thinking 1940s on this one, most likely. No marks. Very sweet. I'm going to put this one on my wrist too, so you can really get the full effect of how cute this is. By the way, I don't have my microphone today, so sorry if the sound quality isn't that great. My um, husband was vacuuming, and the microphone sort of cord was on the rug a little bit, so anyway, he just sucked it right up <laughs> in the vacuum cleaner. Uh, yeah, so I guess the bad news is I have no microphone, but the good news is he was vacuuming, so there's that. 
Anyhow, look at this pretty little thing. Don't you love it? This one uh, measures about seven inches and it's $35. Who else loves petty point? My understanding is that it's a very, very difficult technique. I'm not sure. I've never made jewelry before, but this is very beautiful. So my mom and I bought this many, many years ago. There was this old sort of hippie-ish looking couple from Arizona and they owned a jewelry store and they were selling a bunch of jewelry and we just bought out a couple of tables and that's where this piece is from. I think we bought those tables out in the 1990s. So I don't know if this is from the 90s or this, the 80s or something like that. It is uh, sterling silver. And this one is $65. Isn't it beautiful? Should I weigh it? Yeah, why don't we just give it a quick weigh? Okay, let's just see. All right, it's under four grams, but not a, just a little tiny slip of a thing. This actually has a little bit of weight to it. Who else is a Trafari lover? Just look at the design of this. It's so cool. Of course, Trafari is always marked. So there it is, Crown Trafari with a copyright symbol, which puts this piece from between 1955 and 1969. It looks so real. There's really a modernist thing going on here. It almost looks like kind of a boomerangy kind of just a cool MCM look. This one, signed Trafari, is $18. Nice height on it, too. This is a very interesting and unusual figural brooch. And look, the wheels turn. This looks like Cinderella's coach, right? It isn't, or else it would say Disney. Uh, but I think this has some nice age on it, too. This looks like an older piece, possibly 40s. Uh, not really sure. And those aren't marcosites. You know how they just do that with the metal to make it kind of look like they're marcosites? But this is better in a way because you can't lose the stones because there, <laughs> there are no stones. Anyway, unsigned, just a sweet, sweet little piece of costume jewelry, $20 on this. This is a very sweet little lucite and sterling silver pendant. It's so delicate and so girly. I don't know if that's a real flower or not. It must be, right? I'm not sure what kind of flower is this tiny, but... This is a very cute little piece. There's something very kind of uh, sweet and elegant about it. And this one is $25, sterling silver lucite. And what we're thinking is a real flower. Unusual pendant. Here's an antique belt buckle, not real silver, as you can see. This is very cute. I love this. I'm going to show you what my favorite part is. It's kind of unusual because of the position it takes when you lock it. Look at the crisscross. Isn't that so cool? Very interesting. I believe this is antique. Really nice set of belt buckles right here. This one is $25. Who else loves these 1940s pins? I really, really love this. This one is beautiful. And you can see they definitely made this one to look like emeralds and diamonds. It has this really cool movement. This is signed by a company, Skitterelli. So I believe this is from the 1940s. There's not that much information out about them, but it is thought that they ceased to exist in about 1960 or so. Sometimes their pieces are also marked Phyllis. And I think this one is just pretty. So $12 on this 1940s brooch with the dangles. We should probably sell a couple of cameos because I did just buy a pretty large lot at an auction a few weeks ago. So this one is 800 silver. This is Shell. Isn't she pretty? This one, the carving, I think is really very nice. Look at it from the side. 
pin works as it should. Very sweet item. This one is $30. Here's another beautiful cameo. This one is clearly from the 1920s. Not missing any marcasites. Nice carving. I love her hair. I love her blouse. This is so nice. This one is sterling silver, and that is not a crack. That's just like when the artisan was making it. That's all that is. Very sweet little item. I love jewelry from the 1920s. Do you? Lovely. This one is 40. It doesn't open, believe it or not. It is only gold filled. I tested it. It looks like it's gold. That's for sure. How pretty is that? That's all hand done. That's a lovely old thing. Doesn't it make you wonder who had it, who owned it, where they got it? That is just a sweet, sweet little thing. Love this pendant. This one is $45. A lot of personality. How about this fun butterfly? I love these colors. They're so cheerful, so bright. Look at the enameling. I don't even see any loss. It looks like it's been very rarely handled. And I don't see any marks on it. This is probably from the 60s, maybe the early 1970s. But what I love, look at that. You can move the wings a little bit. That's pretty cool. I love this one. Really cute. This one is $30. Here's another Super Mod Trafari. I love this one too. Crown Trafari copyright symbol. So from the 50s or 60s on this one. Very swirly. I love what they always do with textures. Here's a Kate Spade. Ah, oh, poor Kate Spade. Isn't that funny? You look at people and you just think, look at they have it all, you know, and they're just suffering on the inside. She was so talented. She made such beautiful things. I got this one, I think, I think I got this at a yard sale. So I'm not sure if this pouch goes with this because that's a really, really big pouch for a really sweet little necklace. Look at the little ladybug. How cute. Kate Spade, New York. It's a little bit, um, it's a little bit tangled. All right, let me untangle it. Hold on. There is about an eight inch drop or so. What a cutie. Kind of out of focus. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sweet item. This Kate Spade necklace with this giant <laughs> Kate Spade pouch is 20. This necklace is quite fascinating. I just love it. There's a lot of movement. This is on a wire, so it has some very nice adjustability to it. Isn't that lovely? It's not sterling, just strictly costume, just a very fun necklace. But I do think there's kind of an elegance to it. Isn't it pretty? I love it. This one is $25. This is an interesting handmade bracelet made out of flatware, of course. This is only silver plated, it's not real. And this is a magnetic closure. It's nice and strong too. This measures about six and a half inches or so around the on the inside. I really like these little dangles here. I think this is just kind of an interesting little bit of folk art. This is $25. Here's an adorable pair of scatter pins. I really like that one's bigger and one is smaller. There's a little bit of loss to the enamel right there. Other than that, they're in very nice condition. They both have their rhinestone eyes. I think these are 
really fun. Look at their feet <laughs> and their tails. So uh, for the two of these, $12 for both. I love this little cameo, don't you? This top part was just applied. It's not carved from one piece. This is 800 silver. It's in really nice condition. I think this is just the sweetest pendant. I like that she's wearing a necklace. This is 35. Here's some cute little froggies. These are the set, I think. Those look the same, right? One is smaller than the other. There might be a couple of missing rhinestones. Here's what the back looks like. There's a patent number on there. And this one has a C clasp. And this one is particularly interesting, I think. I really like the paint on that and that huge rhinestone. I think these are very, very fun. So I will sell all three of these for $12. Here's a rabbit trembler. How fun is this? His ears are on springs or her ears, whichever. This one's in nice shape. I think that says LJ. I am not exactly sure who that is, but if anybody wants this little bunny, it's $12. This bracelet is about seven and a half inches long. I don't know if it's gold filled or not, but this is a very nice vintage bracelet. This is gold stone. Of course, that's a well-known misnomer because gold stone is not gold and it's not stone. It is just glass with gold colored flecks, not real gold, but I really like gold stone and it's sort of done in this scarab bracelet style. So this one is $25. This is a very interesting item. This is clearly antique. I think it's Victorian, and I think this was made to be worn on a chatelaine. Interestingly, this is just gold plated, but I have actually never seen tricolor gold, you know, in, in plating like that. I think it's only plated. And I want to point out the mother of pearl. There is just a little tiny situation right there, but I'll show you how it works. Let me twist this. And the pencil comes out. So cool. I'm not sure how to get that lead part out of there. It might just need some more. I'm not sure exactly how the mechanics of this work. But I think this is very cool and just a really beautiful uh, Victorian piece. This cameo looks like it might be from the 20s or the 30s. And this top part is just applied. This is some sort of stone. And this is brass. I didn't find any marks on it. I think this is very unusual. I have never seen one quite like this one before. This one is $30. This is the last piece for sale today. This is such a lovely modernist sterling silver and amber brooch. I guess you could wear it any way you want. It's so unusual. The only mark I see, it says 925. I like this hinge. I don't know if this is kind of a mass produced thing or just an artisan piece. I'm not sure. I've never seen anything like it. It's very space agey, very cool. So this sterling silver and amber brooch is $35. Well, thank you so much for coming, everybody. As always, I really do truly, truly appreciate you. Shoot me an email at IamTheFunkyPickle at gmail.com and let me know your name, your PayPal address, and your real address too, so I can calculate shipping properly if you live in another country. All right. Thanks again for coming, everybody. Cheers.